Hello, everybody. How's it going? Um, <clears throat> I wasn't going to do a video on this at all, but um, I honestly got a little miffed, and then I watched some other stuff and got even more miffed, and then I've been reading articles today, which I shouldn't have done, because they're clickbaity, and I got even more miffed. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it is the new Masters of the Universe show on Netflix, uh, Masters of the Universe Revelation, by um, Kevin Smith, the geek lord of Hollywood. And, oh, hang on a second, I'm going to take some Tums, because honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm a little upset, and I don't want this to be like a, I'm going to be calm, and I'm going to be rational, but, um, first off, when I heard there was going to be a new He-Man show, like a year and some change ago, I got really excited. But, at the same time, I got a little nervous, because it seems like whenever something from the 80s gets redone, it gets done extremely poorly. And so there was hesitation on my part. And you know... I am a He-Man fan. I just last week was showing you all the mini comics that came with the figures. I was showing you my mini comic collection and all that stuff. He-Man was a huge part of my life. And I watched it all the time. I uh, those were my favorite toys. I had a bunch of them. I had a bunch of the play sets. Um, I had the mini comics. I read the star comics. <clears throat> um, and then even when they did dumb shit, like, mix with, like, Superman and shit, I even read those. Not in a happy camper kind of way. I did fall off. Um, in the early 90s when they did the space He-Man and He-Man was um, I don't know <clears throat> he looks like I don't know one of the guitar players from uh, Death Clock from Metalocalypse um, it was just kind of weird some of the villains I thought were really cool um, I even got the toys from the He-Man movie. I even went and saw um, He-Man and She-Ra, the Secret of the Sword. I found that comic, by the way. I don't know if you remember me saying, oh yeah, I had this comic from the premiere. I found it. <clears throat> but anyway, this isn't to solidify my fandom of something. The problem here is... The things that have come out of Kevin Smith's mouth. We're going to talk about that first, then we're going to talk about the show. A year and a half ago, when everyone was like, oh my gosh, we heard this was a Tila show. Is that right? Is this a Tila show? He's like, unequivocally no. Blah, blah, blah. Um, He-Man's going to be front and center. <clears throat> and um, everyone's like, oh, okay, cool. Like, let's just hope, you know, Kevin Smith's one of us. Let's hope he doesn't, like, fucking bend us over here. Um, Michael Bendis over. Oh! Yeah, like four people laughed at that. That's awesome. Okay. Um, <clears throat> then he said, like a long time ago, he said he didn't like He-Man. He wasn't a fan of it. Then after he got the gig, he said he used to run home every day after school and watch it. He's in his 50s. He missed running home after school to watch He-Man. He does not fit in that realm. <clears throat> He's older than my fucking sister. And the last thing my sister was going to do was to come home and watch cartoons. Um, on top of that, uh, 
since then, there was an article, um, it was either the Hollywood Reporter or Variety, but talking about what's happened since, he said that, oh yeah, I was too old to watch it, and I thought it was just a dumb kid show, and I used to almost hate watch it. Um, that's weird to say, okay? Especially after you have the keys to the kingdom and are in charge of the way the world sees this product. <clears throat> a lot of people are calling this a bait and switch, which it is. All of the marketing materials has He-Man, Castle Grayskull, Skeletor, the whole deal. Um, and I'm going to get to the show in a little bit. So if you haven't watched the show yet and you want to go watch it, it's like five episodes, go watch it, come back, whatever. Um, then by the time I get to the shit I'm talking about, um, you know, we'll, we'll be kosher. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm a little upset. Um, he, no, let's not go there. Let's start with Mattel, okay? I don't know how much Mattel had a hand in the show. What it looks like to me is that Mattel said, use these characters because we're going to make action figures and toys and all sorts of merchandise with these characters on them. Netflix says, okay, Kevin Smith, these are the characters you have to work with, write a story. It, um, I don't know if it was Netflix's idea to make it really different, or if it was Kevin Smith's and Netflix was like, this is just a great idea. But Kevin Smith should fucking know better, okay? He is supposedly, and has been, nerd fanboy. So he should know there are certain things you do not do to piss off your core audience. Mattel probably doesn't want Kevin Smith or Netflix to do something with a franchise, with a property, to piss off their core audience that buys every single fucking thing they put out. Okay? I'm almost guaranteed because Mattel sells toys. So, in order for Mattel to make money, they have to sell toys. So, this part is getting weird. Okay, so with that said, the new He-Man show, the revelation, the revelation of this show is Tila, here comes spoilers, guys, so just fucking sit back. Tila found out that Adam, Prince Adam, was He-Man. And she's pissed because a dude lied to her. Okay? And she's mad. Okay? So that's kind of the crux of the show, for the most part. Um, oh yeah, and He-Man gets killed, like, really early in the episode. Oh, and Orko dies. Oh, and Moss Man dies. Oh, and, like, Skeletor is not corporeal. Um, let's see. Man-at-Arms gets sidelined to hang out with the Sorceress while they go on their adventure. Uh, Roboto dies. Everybody, every man on this show is dying or dead. Okay. Now, there are a lot of pluses, okay? We got Scareglow. That's badass. Um, we got two halves of the Power Sword, just like the toys. That's badass. Um, oh, but then there's other shit, too. Guess what? Castle Grayskull, it never existed. It's an illusion. And it was there to protect the, I don't know, the Crystal Palace, whatever it's called. Now, a lot of people were pissed off about this, but I could almost see Mattel saying, you know what? Um, now, he here's where I'm, I'm confused, because if Mattel was involved in fucking their fan base, okay, um, 
this is not going to go over well, and they're going to lose a shit ton of money on this. And this whole time, I'm like, there's no way Mattel had any knowledge of this. They probably gave him a character list and said, these are the toys we're going to make, make a show. But now I'm thinking, but wait, like, if they're trying to market a show for girls with this, like, buff, strong Tila and the Castle Grayskull isn't real and it's really this beautiful Crystal Palace, I could see them trying to go, okay, so now we can make this beautiful Crystal Palace and sell it. That makes sense to me. But in all of the materials, all of the toys running up to this, it's He-Man in front of Castle Grayskull with Skeletor. Um, I went to the drugstore today just to see what toys they had, and they had He-Man and Skeletor, like cars, like Hot Wheels, like licensed Hot Wheels. And at first I was like, shit, I don't know if this is actual... Um, this show He-Man like this might be older He-Man but I couldn't right off the bat I think this chest plate was different than the chest plate on the Netflix show but the animation itself looked the same so um, I just don't know but there were tons of different things like toys and cups and cereal and all sorts of other shit that were made with the idea that this is a He-Man show, okay? Now, the thing that pisses me off about this is what Kevin Smith is saying about this shit. Like, he's saying, like, you're not real fans and you don't get it if you don't understand that Tila was in every episode. Okay. I understand that she was in a majority of the episodes. The other thing I understand was she was already strong and powerful. She was one of the like first powerful women in a animated series that I remember. She is the daughter of Duncan, who is man at arms of Eternia for King Randor. And her basic job is like Prince Adam's bodyguard. Okay? And Prince Adam is supposed to be this, like, douchey, dorky guy, but he's fucking stacked, okay? But Tila is supposed to be his fucking bodyguard. She's supposed to watch over him, okay? And in a lot of these shows, like, she was with him and then with He-Man, and they would defeat Skeletor, okay? She's badass. The other thing is, the sorceress is probably the most powerful person in the whole He-Man universe. She fucking knows everything. She could fucking transform her body. She's fucking a big ball of magical power. She's more powerful than He-Man. As a kid, I knew that. Okay? So, right off the bat, you have two really strong women. Oh, wait, and then who's Skeletor's second-in-command? Evil Lynn this really powerful female sorceress who tried to fuck Skeletor over a couple times even. So Evelyn <clears throat> is joining with Tila now on their adventure because they've both been wronged by the men in their lives or some fucking bullshit. So here are some of the things I'm going to say. One, if you were going to just do a Tila show. If you would have just came out and said that, that would have been what everyone's expectation was going to be of a fucking current year He-Man show. That it wasn't going to really revolve around He-Man and it would be some other thing. <clears throat> I mean, his name's fucking He-Man. It's like, of course... It wouldn't be a thing to do today. But when you say, oh, that's not true, um, it's not going to be about Tila, it's going to be about He-Man, and then you put this show out and expect people to not be fucking pissed off at you, 
I, I just don't understand. So basically, Kevin Smith is tweeting every 15 fucking seconds about how all He-Man fans aren't real fans, and they must not have watched the original show. There was this show in 2002 that was amazing. It was on Cartoon Network, okay? That show, like, treated the franchise respectfully. And, like... <clears throat> Oh my god. I don't know. It's just... Alright. So here's some other stuff I'm going to say about this. Um, if you lie to the fans, the fans are going to get mad. Okay? Masters of the Universe fans are very hardcore because, I mean, they have been buying He-Man toys consistently since 1980-fucking-1. Okay? Mattel is still putting shit out. They have been. And a lot of the shit you have to order through Mattel. Okay? Like, and they're not cheap. Masters of the Universe fans are very fucking loyal. So if you are going to lie to them and then give them shit when they're upset with you for a bait and switch and making a fucking fucked up show... I mean, honestly, if it would have been about Tila, that's one thing. That's what everyone thought it was going to be. But if you fucking kill everybody off, and, like, I heard you were laughing about killing Orko because you hated Orko, like, who the fuck are you? Why? Just why? Why? I don't, I, I don't know. So here is what I suggest happen for now on. If the action figure line that Mattel is putting out based on piggybacking off of this new show. If it does not meet or exceed, but basically meet the expectations of what that toy line was supposed to do, I think Mattel should be able to sue Kevin Smith for the amount of money that they didn't make based on uh, projections. Because I think we need to send a message to fucking people who think that because they are being allowed to create in a franchise universe, they think it's like theirs, like they own it and they can do whatever the fuck they want. You are a steward for the property. That's it. All you, all your job is to do is to make sure none of the main characters die and fucking tell exciting adventures. That's all your fucking job is. Okay? Your job is not to, like, shake things up. Your job is not to make things political. You don't need to do that shit when it's a property that hasn't had a fucking show in 20 years. The buzz is there. Okay? You don't need to make a bunch of extra shit to get like an opening day write-up in Variety. You do not need to do that. That is not your fucking job. Your job is to take this property that a lot of people love and love it just as much or at least respect it enough to not fuck it in the ass. That's your fucking job. And if you can't fucking do that, you should be held financially responsible because the one thing that a lot of people don't understand is <clears throat> unless in this next half season or however the fuck Netflix is releasing these things, unless everything goes back to normal, which it probably won't, but unless it does, um, and even then, the damage, I think, is done, and you have fucked an entire franchise, and then by you running your fucking dick liquor and telling fans that they're not real fans, guess what they're probably going to do? They're probably going to stop purchasing shit that they've been purchasing for 40 fucking years. Out of fucking spite, because some fucking weird-ass child stuck in a 50-some-year-old's body is fucking telling them off. When you said you didn't even like the show in the first place, you motherfucker. Jesus. 
you had the same fucking thing with Star Wars in the 90s and the Phantom Menace and shit. So don't fucking act like you don't understand outrage and that you don't understand. And you know what's even dumber about that? That was fucking George Lucas. That was his own fucking thing. Oh my God. Oh my God. You came into a fucking property and fucking put your penis in its butt. Okay? Forcefully. And then are mad at everyone who isn't happy that you put your penis in its butt. Do you know how fucking stupid that sounds? This isn't me being like a giant man baby or an alt-right fucking Republican. I voted for fucking Bernie, you motherfucker. This is just about a guy who fucking grew up with He-Man, loves fucking He-Man, knew that something fucking stupid was going to happen, but had no fucking clue. You did shock me. I had no idea you would go to such drastic lengths to fucking destroy Masters of the Universe. Good fucking God. And Netflix, who's in charge over there? Who makes these fucking decisions? You do this time and time again. Like, fucking come on. Like, uh, I mean, you guys, I, I, I just, I can't imagine that Mattel was okay with any of this. I can't fucking imagine that. So Mattel, if you're listening, take Kevin Smith to court and sue his fucking ass. And if you have to sue Netflix too, sue Netflix too. Fucking, this is like the same thing with Tom King. Tom King was writing Batman. They promised a wedding between Batman and Catwoman and all this shit. And everything was fucking... I mean, people in the first half of Rebirth, those first, like, 40 issues, even though a lot of people didn't like the war jokes and riddles, I loved that whole run. For the most part. And then when it got leaked that there actually wasn't going to be a wedding, and it's a big bait-and-switch... Um, you guys piss a lot of people off. And then what does fucking TK fucking do? TK fucking kills Alfred. You are a steward. And whoever is your editor, I have a feeling, I have a feeling that there are certain creators at DC and Marvel who editorial is like, oh, we probably shouldn't say anything to them. Who the fuck are you? Do your fucking job. Your job is to protect a fucking property. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my fucking god, dude. <clears throat> oh. Alright. But Batman took a big fucking dip. And killing Alfred didn't fucking help anything. It just made people hate Tom King more. And Tom King thinks his shit don't stink. And he's really upset that people wouldn't let him tell his fucking 107 fucking issue Batman run. But then he ended up getting a uh, Demotion to having his own prestige title for fucking Bat Cat, whatever. Who fucking cares? Like, creators need to know that unless they own the fucking property, that you are. Your job is to make the people who purchase these products happy. You're supposed to take them on adventures, take them on rides. DC should fucking sue, I don't know, probably Dan DiDio and Tom King. Like, or whoever was the Bat editor during that whole thing. And then, fuck, the whole Wally West thing? The Heroes in Crisis thing? Are you fucking serious? And then Nightwing? Oh, um, I don't care what's going on in Nightwing right now. I want to put a bullet in Dick Grayson's head. So, make that happen. I'm Tom King. No. Warner Media should sue Tom King for the amount of money that they should have made on proposed speculative profits. However the fuck you want to say that. I think if you start fucking making these motherfuckers like financially liable for this shit, they're not going to be on Twitter running their fucking goddamn mouth saying all sorts of fucked up shit because now they're legally responsible for taking care of that property. And you know what? A lot of these people who really don't give a fuck and don't give a shit and almost hate watch He-Man 
probably won't take these jobs because they'll be afraid of fucking it up because they don't give a shit about it. So, Mattel, please, please make an example of Kevin Smith right now and fucking sue his ass. And if you have to sue Netflix too, sue Netflix too. And if it turns out that someone inside Mattel knew all of this shit and okayed it, that person needs to be living in a dumpster, probably behind the building. So this was a little um, harsher than I thought it was going to be, but I think I did a good job keeping calm. Um, I, I don't even know what to say. Um, if you want to watch a good He-Man show, watch the 2002 um, He-Man animated series. That was fucking awesome. Um, honestly, the artwork on this new one, it's done by the people that did the Castlevania show on Netflix. It does look crisp, but honestly, and it might just be nostalgia, but I really miss the original shitty animation He-Man where they had like four backgrounds and every character had like three different moves they could do and everyone would do a somersault and He-Man would punch the screen and um, all that shit. Like, give it to me. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. I love it. So, with that being said, I hope everyone's having a lovely weekend, unless your name's Kevin Smith. And, um, yeah, so I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.